Well, hello everybody, it's Sue here, and I'm recording a tutorial for this effect with the, uh, see how the guns glowing there? Yeah, I'm gonna make sorry for that effect because a lot of people have asked me to make one, so I thought, hey, we might as well. Uh, so, I'm just gonna jump right into this. The first, well, I've already, this is the same, um, edit that I actually did it on. So, as you can see here, it's the guns already glowed, so I'm just going to take it off. And what you have here is the gun by itself. And what I've done is, I just got to Jesus, my right click doesn't work, so I have to manually uncheck all of these. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, so what I've done basically is just mask the body of the gun for the entire clip. As you see here, I'll turn the scopes in, and I've done that. For the entire video, so you can see all these keyframes. Um, where you mask. If you guys want me to make a masking tutorial, I will make one. But it'll just know it'll be long and boring. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you see, I masked for that whole video. Okay. Good. Now, I'm going to turn the video track back on. And now, as you can see, the part that's masked is just brighter because I've changed the compositing mode from source to add. So, it's brighter. Okay, that's one part of the glowing gun. Now, the second part is to add some wiggles. Because, oh man, that volume. Okay. Shit. Okay, so as you see, it wiggles a bit now kind of doing like a cherry thing right that's how you get it to kind of have a, like an angelic wave but to enhance the effect I've done actual wave and just copy this settings I don't know if you pause the video or whatever let's copy it okay and I go to the end of the video or where the waving kind of stops and I put the vertical and horizontal phases from zero all the way to the end so what this does is make the wave effect a lot more prominent you sure as you see now it's like really really waving um, the next thing I do is add a diffusion because this is what the glow is, well most of the glow is, and as you see, if I just turn the glow down, it goes to nothing basically, turn the glow up, it really brightens up, put the ambience way up, and the dim to 75, because, well, you don't have to, but that's why I like it, because when you add the rays, it gets a lot brighter. And the blur is on 40 because of all any blur. That's how it looks. It looks damn terrible. So the blur is on 40. Uh, you can copy these as well. And note this can be any color. If I want it to be red, it'd be red. If I want it to be purple, well, darker purple, it'd be purple, green, green. So that goes basically anyway. And I'll just put it back there. Um, for rays, this is the key fact to making it look like it's glowing. Uh, just turn it on. And bang, as you see, now it looks like it's really it's it's got like a spark or two and everything. Um, I'm not really going to explain this in too much depth. I'll just leave you guys to copy my settings. Um, I just know that the threshold is really important as well as the amount because if you overdo it it will end up looking like this but if you underdo it it wouldn't 
it will look like this and it doesn't look very good at all so you just want to have a nice middleman about right there at 12 uh, but this can vary greatly on what clip you use and everything because sometimes it just won't look right uh, depending on the clip uh, the aspect is on the lowest it can go because if you put it down there if you put it up it makes the rays wider and uh, it doesn't look good for this effect you want it to go up uh, the boost is about the middle because as you see about the boost nothing really happens so it's about the middle uh, put the peak down because if you put the peak too high up it ends up looking like that and it's not very nice to be honest um, the noise you put it up so it has those little lines. I don't know if you can really see that very well, but if you see all those lines there, uh, you put it, put the noise down. Just gets all round, and that doesn't look very good for this effect. Uh, the hue, well, the uh, yeah, the hue is just a color, so you can make like that type of purpley thing and like the hue sweep makes it more like it just gives kind of a pearl scentsy effect and uh saturation changes it from being just like black and white to super colorated um yeah though that's how you, you the do the glow effect it's really not that hard. Uh, credit to you a lot for making the original effect. All I've simply done was convert it into Sony Vegas. I've made this yeah, convert it into Sony Vegas basically. Uh, done this my own way though. No tutorial. So, um, leave a like, uh, sub, and maybe some suggestions on what I should make a tutorial on next some things I will not make tutorials on though because they're my personal favorite effects or whatever so yeah um thank you guys for watching this has been Leos and uh peace